It's been a global effort to help the country of Nepal recover from two devastating earthquakes. Millions of dollars and first responders from many countries are part of the relief effort, including one local Antelope Valley doctor who just returned from the Himalayan nation after helping out. These images look like something out of a war zone, but sadly, it's a common sight in a country halfway around the world, Nepal, which was rocked by a strong quake in April and another one earlier this week. But for Dr. Kanal, a local cardiologist in the Antelope Valley, these pictures hit a little closer to home. You know, I am from Nepal. You know, I grew up, I uh, went to school in Nepal before I uh, came to the U.S. 25 years ago, and I still have family members there. After learning about the devastation from the April 25th quake, he knew he had to go help. Using the power of social media, he gathered four other medical professionals, one from the Antelope Valley, two from San Francisco, and a third all the way from Alaska. We put together a group and you know, bought our tickets, and within 24 hours we were on the plane. Dr. Kanal shows me pictures of their journey, which started five days after the quake. They carried 15 bags of medical supplies and food, traveling about 24 hours to get to Kathmandu. While we were trying to get into Nepal, we had to mm -hmm. circle almost an hour before okay. we landed because there were so many planes trying to wow, come in. Okay. Once they landed, they made their way to Nuakot District, a place badly hit by the quake. The district hospital was completely destroyed by the earthquake, and uh, both the inpatient and outpatient wing we told two later it's not usable, so they had tents set up outside the hospital where they were taking care of patients. Their team got right to work dressing wounds, doing CPR, seeing almost 350 patients in the first day alone. Next uh, three days we saw over 250 patients every day. And sometimes quick survivors didn't need medical help, but shelter, like these kids, part of a family of 11 whose home was destroyed. Uh, they were just living off the road, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so they, that's where they were okay. living. His team helped them find a tent and some blankets. The doctor says despite the long road to recovery, the Nepalese are strong and resilient, finding hope in the face of disaster. Nepal is a country of uh, 30 million people, and a quarter of the population is affected with this earthquake. So there is a great need. Uh, and the world needs to come together to help these uh, beautiful people. Dr. Kanal returned earlier this week on Sunday. He says the best way to help Nepal is to send money. It can be used to buy basic necessities like tents or blankets that people need immediately. Here are two sites he recommends. The first is a GoFundMe page that he set up. All donations will be used to buy supplies and the leftover will go towards rebuilding. The second one is the America Nepal Medical Foundation, which is also helping out with relief efforts.